Let us worship God in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Amen. May we sing when the sea is calm and all is right, the praise and worship song. Spirit. 
and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth may we stand and continue to worship god by singing the hymn the church's one foundation is jesus christ our lord the church's one foundation is jesus christ our lord she is his new creation by water and the word from heaven he came and sought her to be his holy bride with his own blood he brought her and for her life he died he led from every nation at one throne all the earth a carol of salvation one lord one faith one birth One holy name she blesses partakes one holy food and to one hope she prays with every grace and due with toil and tribulation and to melt all She waits the consolation of peace forevermore Till with the vision glory a longing I all bless and the great church victory shall be the Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. Oh come. Let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our maker. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness for we have rebelled against him and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God by following his laws which he set before us by his servants the prophets Jesus said Come to me all ye that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens and I will give you rest I am said to him father I have sinned against heaven and before you Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you O Lord my rock and my redeemer Amen Please be seated let us pray 
Almighty God, we are coming to your presence to offer you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, our worship and thanksgiving. Help us to make a true confession of our sins and to pray for others as well as for ourselves. Granted by our listening to your holy word, we may know more truly the greatness of your love and show forth in our lives the fruits of your grace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us examine ourselves. The Lord is merciful and glory, gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so that Lord has compassion for those who fear him. Let us confess our sins in silence. May we all say, Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Amen. And we ask you, merciful Lord, to your faithful people, pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May we stand and say the collect for today. God of truth and life, we thank you for sending your Son, Lord Jesus the initiator and perfecter of faith. He has taught us to believe in you and in him so that we have perfect understanding of the truth. Grant us the heart to believe in him and to receive his truth in our lives that we may escape the traps of illusion through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Please be readed. The first scripture lesson would be read to us. Today's first reading is taken from Exodus chapter 34, verses 1 to 9. Exodus chapter 34, verses 1 to 9. 
The Lord said to Moses, It is allowed two stone tablets like the first ones, and I will write on them the words that were on the first tablets which you broke. Be ready in the morning, and then come up on Mount Sinai. Present yourself to me there on top of the mountain. No one is to come with you or be seen anywhere on the mountain. Not even the flocks and the herds may graze in front of the mountain. So Moses chiseled out two stone tablets like the first ones and went up Mount Sinai early in the morning as the Lord had commanded him. And he carried the two stone tablets in his hand. Then the Lord came down in the cloud and stood there with him and proclaimed his name, the Lord. And he passed in front of Moses, proclaiming, The Lord, the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands and forgiving wickedness, rebellion and sin. Yet he does not leave the guilty unpunished. He punishes the children and their children for the sin of the fathers to the third and fourth generation. Moses bowed to the ground at once and worshipped. O Lord, if I have found favor in your eyes, he said, then let the Lord go with us. Although this is a stiff-necked people, forgive our wickedness and our sin and take us as your inheritance. Here ends the reading. Praise be to God. Praise be to the O God. May we stand and sing the hymn, Fairest Lord Jesus. Second scripture lesson will be read to us.
second scripture is taken from Ephesians chapter 4 verses 7 to 16 Ephesians chapter 4 7 to 16 Each one of us has received a special gift in proportion to what Christ has given. As the scripture says, when he went up to the very heights, he took many captives with him. He gave gifts to mankind. Now what does he went up mean? It means that first he came down to the lowest depths of the earth. So the one who came down is the same who went up above and beyond the heavens. To fill the whole universe with his presence. It was he who gave gifts to the mankind. He appointed some to be apostles, others to be prophets, others to be evangelists, others to be pastors and teachers. He did, he did this to prepare all God's people for the work of Christian service in order to build up the body of Christ. And so we shall all come together to that oneness in our faith and in our knowledge of the Son of God, we shall become mature people reaching to the very height of Christ's full stature. Then we shall no longer be children carried away by the waves and blown about by every shifting wind of the teaching of deceitful men who lead others into error by tricks they invent. Instead, by speaking the truth in the spirit of God, of the love, we must grow up in every way to Christ, who is the head. Under his control, all the different parts of the body fit together and the whole body is held together by every joint with which it is provided. So when each separate part works as it should, the whole body grows up and builds itself up through love. Here ends the ring. Praise be to God. May we stand and sing. Now thank we all our God. As we remain standing, the gospel lesson would be read to us. The gospel lesson taken for today's reading and the meditation is gospel according to St. John, 
chapter 17 verses from 6 6 to 19 let us read and listen to the word of god beginning to read from verse 6 I have made you known to those you gave me out of the world they belong to you and you gave them to me they have obeyed your word and now they know that everything you gave me comes from you I gave them the message that you gave me and they received it they know that it is true that I came from you and they believe that you sent me i pray for them i do not pray for the world but for those you gave me for they belong to you all i have is yours and all you have is mine and my glory is shown through them and now i am coming to you i am no longer in the world but they are in the world holy father keep them safe by the power of your name the name you gave me so that they may be one just as you and i are one while i was with them i kept them safe by the power of your name the name you gave me i protected them not one of them was lost except the man who was bound to be lost so that the scripture might come true and now i'm coming to you and i say these things in the world so that they might have my joy in their hearts in all its fullness i gave them the message and the world hated them because they do not belong to the world Just as I do not belong to the world I do not ask you to take them out of the world but I do ask you to keep them safe from the evil one Just as I do belong to the world they do not belong to the world dedicate them to yourself by means of truth your word is truth I sent them into the world just as you sent me to the world and for their sake i dedicate myself to you in order that they too may be truly dedicated to you thus ends the reading praise be to, to christ o christ our master our lord the truth our savior jesus you have shown us a model as a prayer warrior we also pray for master continue to speak to us as we are willing to listen to you In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. My dear friends, very good morning and welcome each one of you for this service. There was 
a friend who was visited by a guest and friend happens to be residing in uh, southern part of india most of the time it is raining as we are ex we are experiencing the unexpected and unpredictable rain every day in bangalore it was such a situation this guest visited his friend and then they had an interaction and then they wanted to go out and this friend took the guest out and along with him he took his umbrella and they started walking around and started raining then they started getting wet this guest asked oh my dear friend you are keeping your umbrella why are you not opening it why are you not stretching it But then with little embarrassment uh, this friend said the umbrella is full of holes then guest asked then why did you bring it then he said i never thought it is going to rain my dear friends most of the people whom we come across and whom we see are such others wanted to find their lies right even most of us we try to pretend we are truthful we justify our lies and before others find out our lies we must find out our own lies our own nature and so we will find a way as we read in sanskrit shloka asatoma sadgamaya from untruth to the truth asatoma sadgamaya so that we will walk straight and my dear krista kripalaya family and friends we are meditating upon the theme today believing in christ the truth indeed it is a complex theme for me to talk about truth to talk about christ is wonderful and we have been hearing about christ and his messages for ages but then this truth is most of the times abstract it is not a concrete many times the truth which i feel it is truth the person next to me may not feel what i believe is truth is truth it differs from person to person it differs from society to society it differs from people to people and differs from context to context truth is naturally happening truth is something we have to realize truth cannot be invented right but lies can be invented many times we invent lies to justify our stand though it is not truth so truth naturally is happening lies are invented when we talk about truth and untruth generally we think of the verbal truth and verbal untruth 
Oh, I spoke truth. Oh yes. What I spoke was a lie. This verbal truth or verbal untruth is more of a moral and ethical issue. Not an existential issue. It is a social thing. As we know, as Jesus was his trial under Pilate, Pilate asks him, what is truth? Because he wanted to know the definition of truth by Jesus. So he asks, what is truth? What is truth and what is untruth? As I said earlier, it is not words that we speak. It is in the way in which we hold the life within us. Truth is the way of life. The nature of existence is such that it is all inclusive. It does not discriminate. Essential of life is inclusive. We admire in reading the Jesus prayer in the gospel of John chapter 17 whole chapter is a prayer it is also called as a prayer for great high priest it is called as a priestly prayer look at it how Jesus is so inclusive praying to God that these are mine which you have given to me and Lord I pray as we are one they should also be one and that is the theme of our Church of South India as we all know Lord that they all are should be one as we are one and that is the nature of truth which always emphasizes with inclusiveness if we are exclusive if we are truly exclusive we are not truthful my dear friends we must understand one thing and uh, we must also introspect that how truthful we are to our own conscience. We need to answer to our own conscience and we should be truthful and truth comes here as an inclusive nature. If we are having a prejudiced exclusiveness which is called as untruth. It is not in the words that we speak, it is in the way we are living Jesus proven why we believe in Jesus why we worship Jesus why we call Jesus as our Lord why we call him as an icon for us because he did what he said all that he said he lived. Most of the time we look at people, we come across people and they say something but then there is a contradiction all the time what they do in their life. Many times in doing they will prove that they are liars though they speak sweet words thinking that they are very truthful. Dear friends, it is in the lap of truth that we exist. Which is this lap? Christ Jesus himself is the lap for us wherein we exist. So only the theme 
emphasizes on that we must believe Christ because he is truth we exist on his lap who addressed and who declared that he himself is the truth i am the way and i am the truth and i am the life and uh, my dear friends every day as i was uh, serving in kanakapura there in the morning every day there is a vehicle with louder uh, noise onakasa asikasa ber padisi onakasa asikasa the dry waste and the wet waste <laughs> have to separate it and here uh, when i ask charles are we doing that here no no i yeah, still we are mixing up everything but i think some of the areas in bangalore they do separate the dry waste and the wet waste and they give it to the municipality van or put it in the van which serves in that aspect here we clear our garbage every day right however we have to create either it's the vanakasa the dry waste or the wet waste we have to clear it every day if we don't do in every day basis what happens as i was serving in st john's there was a lady a very devoted lady admiring lady admiring the preacher admiring the pastor but never invited us to her house one day she passed into eternity and she was a rich lady but never shown to anybody that she was very rich when they tried to open the door they were unable to open the door the house was full of garbage it was just like a garbage bin for everybody surprise what is this and that was the that was the time when they got to know oh my god this is how she lived her life she was all alone and she was a regular worshipper and when we don't clear our garbage every day our whole house will become a garbage bin likewise if we do not discard the garbage in our lives if we keep the garbage if we keep the lies and we will become a bin of garbage a bin of lies as we believe in christ we must be careful in throwing out the things that which don't work in our lives every day so that it is cleansed and we are going to prove that we are the believers of christ there are vital things in day to day life what is the best way to eat whether we eat vegetarian or whether we eat non vegetarian whether we eat raw vegetables or boiled vegetables half boiled or fully boiled and there is a best way and there is also the way to sit way to listen way to go on our life and we find which is the best way and we also need to understand what is the best way to speak to our beloved ones what is the best way to interact with our neighbors when we interact we know the way we interact may our opponent may get irritated and something else may happen we must have experienced it already we must know to interact what is the best way 
but when interact rather trying to weave a philosophy or oh, this is what i said that's what he said this is how i should be this is how it should have been gone and so on and so forth rather weaving a philosophy we need to understand the best way to interact with our fellow members with our brethren and sisters when we are joyful we are fruitful right when we are happy we do function well when we are sad what is the outcome no 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 i am not in a proper mood i can't do anything let me be alone right are we not say that i am not in good mood you go away don't disturb and jesus wants his joy to be experienced by his disciples as we believe we are joyful and when we are joyful surely we are going to be fruitful jesus says i have chosen you not to a life of lazy and lethargic rather you must be joyful and you must be fruitful you should go and bear fruit only when you bear fruit the name of my father is glorified right so we must be joyful and even for difficult solution i mean difficult problems we get solutions when we are joy that's why there is a saying when you are upset when you are angry don't take any decision right have you not heard about it when we are not in good mood don't take any decision that means to say you are only when you are happy when you are joyful you will make right decisions and you will find right solutions for your problems and jesus wants us to be so my joy i give unto you my peace i give unto you he prays to lord that god give them the joy that you have given to me so that they will be one many times our joy will go away if somebody looks at us with different eye we are upset somebody says something we are irritated somebody doesn't talk we are irritated if somebody talks also we are irritated right and we should be aware that whatever we get from the world we should maintain our uniformity world may throw at you anything world may try to disturb you everyday life so stressful may be disturb you that you should be stable enough we should be constantly proving that you are the believer of christ and disciple of christ when somebody throws at us anger we become angry somebody throws at us some words we give them in reply like anything somebody irritates us we get irritated very soon and we say oh i am also human being we are human being but we are the being we can transcend we can transcend all such barriers that is what jesus taught us he was spat he was beaten he was irritated he was persecuted he was still the same he never uttered a word he was nailed and he was crucified then the only thing he said father forgive them that they do not know 
what they are doing and of course there are contexts wherein we need to act accordingly according to the situation which demands us to act so that the things would be more effective but then in spirituality as we do as we deal as disciples of christ we must be aware whatever the world throws at us we should maintain the uniformity and we should prove that we are the disciples and believers of christ even though world throws at us bitterness let us not become bitter throws at anger let us not be angry so we need to follow christ in every context of our life for this region reason jesus had to spend so much of time in prayer begging his father to give his disciples the help the divine help and all the protection and all the uh, all the support that could be provided jesus was like a parent of his followers he was as fervent as a mother and as he was like a father very compassionate he realized that he would have to leave his friends to keep working in the challenging world a brutal world he continues to pray for them my dear friends we have a prayer warrior in jesus who continuously prays for us our protection and our survival in this world where the world throws at us so many things as the receivers of god's mercies let us not conform to the roughness of this world not to go with the flow of anger flow of revenge but to be transformed from the inside out let us make a truth christ himself the truth let us make it as our life our living way the way of our life so that his name be glorified may lord bless us and help us to move forward in his direction the believing in christ the truth amen may we stand and say the apostles creed i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i believe in jesus christ god's only son our lord was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered under pontius pilate was crucified died and was buried he descended to the dead on the third day he rose again he ascended into heaven he is seated at the right hand of the father and he will come to judge the living and the dead I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen please be seated for the announcements
good morning we are very happy to have you all worshiping with us this morning we look forward to your continual fellowship in the days to come we thank our pastor rev victor prabhakar for bringing god's word this morning thank you ayya following members of our church will be celebrating birthdays this week 15th may mr cecil ulagadi 16th may mrs vijaya susan mr gyanasundar kumar miss pradnya shayan 18th may mrs divya joyce j and mr sam v 19th may mr joshua gershom and mrs shalini vina kumari 20th may mr ezek vinit daniel and master eric joel a 21st may mr ronit mrs chitra bangera and mr suraj k bangera following members of our church will be celebrating their wedding anniversaries this week 15th may mr solomon mani and mrs smalini 16th may mr mahesh and mrs bhavya 17th may mr deepak rona then mrs vinisha 19th may mr joseph jaykuma samuel and mrs asha doris mr leander santosh pallat and mrs shalini kristabel pallat and mr nischal subhas and mrs usha rani nischal 20th may mr dheena kumar bharatish and mrs bonita binoni benita Bin- benita binoni may the good lord bless them and keep them safe in his grace all are invited for the weekly bible study and prayer which is conducted by a pastor every thursday evening at 6:30 pm should you have any prayer requests drop them in the prayer request box kept at the entrance of the church next sunday's worship service in english begins at 8 am followed by the service in kannada at 9:30 am during the service we will be meditating upon the theme mission with christ spirit city area women's fellowship zonal meeting is going to be held on 22nd may at 4 pm at emmanuel church request women's fellowship members to attend the zonal meeting the women's fellowship members of our church will be will be meeting on saturday at 3:30 pm will be meeting next saturday at 3:30 pm Youth fellowship of a church will meet today after the Kannada worship service. The youth department of Bangalore city area will be conducting a zonal meeting for the youth of Bangalore city area on Sunday 29th May at 4 pm in the CSI Emmanuel Church Magadi Road Bangalore. We request the youth of a church to participate. Ordination service will be held on Sunday 5th June 2022 at 4 pm at St Mark's Cathedral. We request the congregation to kindly remember the ordinance in their prayer. Last Sunday's collection totals up to 24671. We thank all the congregation members who have generously made this offering. Thank you and God bless us all. may we sing teach us o lord thy holy way at which time offer to you be collected
let us pray a most gracious and loving heavenly father we continue to believe you because you are the truth we continue to trust you you are the way yes o oh lord thank you for your message of truth with which we will make our life and we continue to exist we find our existence on your lap which is so truthful help us to follow you and guide us to be truthful for ourselves and also to our neighbors and also truthfully and truly worship you through our life as we come to your throne of grace o lord we are offering you from which we have received from you all that what we have is belong to you bless these offerings o lord bless each and every member who happily contributed to your ministry bless everyone especially we pray o master for those who are celebrating their birthday bless them abundantly protect them grant them your love envelop them with your care so that in the world they are going to be your witnesses we thank you and praise you for those families and couple those who are celebrating and going to be celebrated their wedding anniversaries you made them to be together may they experience your blessings as they continue their journey together the togetherness of joy find the fullness of life as they are together as you and father are one bless each and every couple their family their extended family members go with them continue to be with them we also remember all the pastorate committee members and their committed and dedicated service to your church bless them grant them your knowledge and wisdom so that they continue to cherish your ministry lord we commend all of us each and every family of christa kripalaya and our offering to you we ask all this in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen let us together say the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us lead us not into test but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen and to god's gracious mercy and protection we commit you The blessings of God Almighty the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you both now and forevermore. Amen.